do and welcome to part four of my palette collection. Uh, this drawer is my Natasha Denona drawer. This is probably my most used drawer, probably. Um, yeah, I use Natasha Denona a lot. It's probably my favorite brand. I don't know. That's, that's a bold statement. I don't know if that's true. But anyway, this is the Xenon palette. Um, I love this palette. This is my favorite um, like monochromatic, like grayscale palette. And yeah, I just think it's stunning. I love that there's a little bit of like a blue and pink vibe in there. Uh, these are spectacular. This, it's just all around such a good palette. Next up, I need a nude. This is my absolute favorite, um, for, you know, just like an everyday look, very kind of neutral, natural. I'm just obsessed with this palette. I use it so, so, so much. All right, and then basically <laughs> the contrast to the last palette is this Circo Loco palette, and this was one of the bigger ones. I wasn't gonna pick this up. I thought it looked kind of strange uh, the way that it was laid out, but I'm so glad I picked this up. These are some of the most wonderful, these mattes are so good. These pastel shades, these are some of my favorite shimmer colors. Um, oh, they're just so gorgeous. This is a really good palette. Like really, really good. The quality is amazing. Really expensive, but good quality. Uh, next is the Metropolis palette. I wish you would do more like this with the smaller pans, but 28 of them. I mean, this is like such a nice size. I mean, do you need all those pans? Probably not, but it's just fun. I really, really, I was so excited when this came out and I can't, this was the first palette that I really spent a lot of money on um, in my, in my life. And I don't regret it. I don't regret it. It's so beautiful. Next up is the Love palette. Um, I like this one. I actually like the mini love palette better. <laughs> I don't know. Um, some people said that there was a bad batch of this one where the formula wasn't as good. I don't think I got one of the bad ones. I think mine was fine. Um, but all of that being said, I actually prefer the mini love palette. I don't know. Something about the shades in this one are just... Um, like, this is a great look right here. You just have everything you need. Um, it's super flattering for me, for reference, because you can't see my face at all. <laughs> I am fair, light, and I have a slight yellow uh, undertone, warm yellow undertone. But I kind of lean neutral, so it's it's ever so slight, I think. But I am warm. Um, I don't know. This is just a single that came in something. I don't know what this is. It's an eyeshadow shimmer and 215 cream. <laughs> All right. Uh, Trio Chrome. This is probably my least favorite Natasha Denona palette. However, the, um, oh, the sun just went away. Hopefully we can still see everything. Um, the packaging on this is amazing and I love it. I love it so much. Uh, but the inside is all, well, okay, it's very beautiful. I just, I feel like I don't know how to use this palette or something. You know what I should do? I should try to just use this row. Because it seems like this should look great on me. And it seems like I should love it, and I don't know why I don't. So, um, I gotta pull that out again. <laughs> all right, next up, this is actually a face palette. It's the Hyper Natural face palette that just came out. Um... I'm obsessed with these blushes. Like, I love them, especially this lighter one. Obsessed. Everything else in here, like, these look, they do look airbrushed. I feel like they're nice. I just don't know about the shades. Um, and I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, like, totally in love with these. I don't know. I still have to kind of play around with this one and use brushes more. I've been trying to use my fingers with these, and I just, I think I don't like applying all of my eyeshadow with my fingers. I think my eyes are too small. My fingers are too big for that. It just, it doesn't work. But love the blushes. 
Um, and these are, I, I don't know, the verdict is still kind of out on those. I like the size though, and the packaging. Now this base palette, I really love. Um, this came out a couple years ago and these shimmers are so beautiful. Wow, this really does look warm now that I'm looking at it. Um, yeah, I feel pretty when I put this on my face. And this was the light version. Um, I also got the deep version um, to compare it. And it's definitely um, a little too deep for me. Like there's not really a good, um, and it's supposed to be. I mean, this was made for, for a deeper complexion. Um, but I just thought I would see if it would work for me. And it does sort of, but there isn't like, you know, an inner corner highlight or anything. Um, but it wasn't supposed to be, so it's still very beautiful. Whoops. Why did I do that? Oh, look at that. No. That's all I was going to do. All right, next up is the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. I think this is really spectacular. I feel like this is so Natasha Denona. Like if I imagine what she looks like, um, I see her in this like color palette um, as far as makeup. And apparently it was her dream palette, which I totally see. Um, and I really like it as well. It's a little more dramatic. Um, but like still kind of neutral tones. Beautiful. Uh, Sunray's palette. This was the first midi palette. So the first palette of this size that she came out with. It's a gorgeous palette and I'm so, so happy I picked it up. Um, I think this is what started my love. This I think this was my first Natasha Denona palette ever. And this is what started it all. This palette right here. I have such a dent in this shade. I used it so much. It's so pretty. And it's funny because now looking looking at it, I mean, Natasha Denona, I think, has a more sort of subtle, um, user-friendly style to the shimmers and things. Um, you know, uh, indie brands tend to have, like, super just beaming, crazy color flips and things. And I think that the Natasha Denona formulas are a little bit more sophisticated. doesn't mean that one or the other is better. Um, it's just, it depends on what you're going for. And so sometimes I do say that, you know, it's not as good as Indian. That's probably kind of misspeaking. It's just different and it's more sort of spectacular and has more wow factor. Uh, this can be very beautiful in a more subtle way. Um, but yeah, now that I've seen Indie, this isn't as wow to me. All right, moving on along. Uh, the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Um, lots of pink and mauve and berry tones. This is a really pretty palette. Oh my goodness, look at those pinks. Yeah, it's a good one. I like it. I pretty much like all of these except Trio Chrome and I don't really use the Love Palette. Um, I don't know. And actually, okay, Biba. Um, I don't really use this one either because, and you can tell it's like very clean, um, because I like some of the newer palettes better. Like the I Need a Nude um, is probably the number one that I'm thinking of. And I don't know, there's not really a super light um, inner corner or highlight shade, which I find in kind of a lot of her palettes. Um, there's not like the super bright inner corner shade, which I can use highlighters. So it's not that big a deal, but I don't know. There's some nice shades, uh, tones in here. It is mostly warm. Um, like this whole area, they're pretty warm. And then this is kind of the more neutral, just um, or cool right here. I don't know. It's nice though, but this is not my favorite, uh, palette. Plus it's so big. And it was expensive because of that. I think I got it at a Black Friday sale, which made it a little less, but still. Uh, Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. This is really pretty. I think it's a great pastel palette. Um, the shades are a little bit deeper in some of them than I think of as pastels. No, I mean, they just, they are very pigmented pastels. They're great. They're pretty. 
I like it. And you have everything. You have red, orange, yellow, green. There's not like a true green, I'd say. Maybe this is close though. Um, and the blue. This is, I've made a mess of this. I need to clean this one. <laughs> Look at that. That's dirty. It has like other shades in it. Hmm. All right, we're gonna set that one aside. I know exactly what video that was from too. Okay. Um, the Glam palette was sort of a cool tone, um, neutral palette. Very pretty. It's just very wearable. I don't think this one looks as good on me as the I Need a Nude, which is a little bit more warm and peachy, I think. Um, but I do like this palette. It's pretty. Uh, the bronze palette, gorgeous. This one, I think, is probably going to look a little better on a little deeper skin tone than mine. Um, it's a pretty palette, though. I think probably a lot of these shades are a bit repetitive in here. Like, this probably could have been a 9 pan. Or even a, maybe a 12. I don't know. But it's pretty. I like it. Uh, the Zendo palette, I don't ever use this. Um, I actually saw a review of this and I think she totally nailed it where it's like, it's two different palettes and I don't know how to put it together. Um, yeah, it's like, there's just these cool tones and then the warm tones. And I don't, I don't really know that there's much transition to put them together. Maybe this gold. I don't know. I feel like I need to play around with this more. I haven't used it a lot because it's a little hard to like come up with a look. I don't think this was one of her best. Uh, I don't think this was her best work. But I don't hate it. Um, also, all of these palettes, not all of them, but most of them, have these little pinholes uh, where if you uh, stick a pin in there, I don't have one with me, but you can actually pop the um, magnetic pans out and you can like create your own palette. So if you were traveling and you wanted very specific shades from your Natasha Denona midi palettes, uh, you can take them out and put them in other palettes. I never do that because I'm afraid I'm never going to get them back to where they were, but you could. One could. Wow, I have a lot of Natasha Denona. <laughs> um, all right, which is why uh, she gets her own drawer. The Yucca palette. I love this palette. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Look at that shine. Okay, this one is so, so, so flattering and so good um, for my particular complexion. I love it. Ooh, we're getting some afternoon sun now. Yeah, I love this palette. I absolutely love it. It's so good. Natasha Denona Retro Glam. This is kind of neat packaging. It's fun. It's like really thick. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, it's a little hard to tell. But um, it's kind of cute. It's like, I think it does kind of have like a 60s type vibe. I was not around in the 60s, so I can't say for sure. Someone who lived through the 60s and remembers them, please confirm <laughs> that this is a good curation. I'm just thinking of like, you know, some of the fashion and things I've seen from movies, but not necessarily movies from the 60s. Just trying to replicate the 60s, so... Anyway, I think it's very cute, regardless. And, like, I think there was a better job of, because this does have a lot of, like, cool and warm tones, or, like, both sides, um, kind of like the Zendo, but it seems more cohesive to me. Like, things are going to go together more, and there's going to be more, like, intermediary shades. Like, this one could kind of blend into that, which could blend into that, like this, or, you know, this to here to here. And I just think it was curated better than the Zendo, even though it's got like sort of a similar uh, vibe with the like uh, warmer tones and then the cooler tones, but there's like more neutrals in there. I don't know. I just, I think this one is curated really well. And it's just so cute. All right. Um, I guess let's do those last. Let's do a little minis now. Um, I already did the one mini, my favorite mini. Uh, you've already seen. This was the Crush mini palette. 
It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit red. It's on the red side, uh, which I don't always love, but it's cute. I do really like this one. This was the mini pastel and it's super cute. I like this one. It's fun. It is very light. Uh, just a neutral palette. I don't even know which one this is. Mini nude. Very simple. I tend to reach for the bigger ones if I want a nude look. Uh, this, I think, is the newest one. This is the Mini My Dream. And it's a nice, compact five pan. I don't like this as much as I like the I Need a Nude palette. I think I compared the two in a video and I came to the conclusion that I like the bigger palette uh, better, the tones in it. I think this is Mini Biba. Yeah. Um, and it's almost like the berry, or not berry, but like peach berry row <laughs> that wasn't in the Biba palette. This is the mini Lila palette, and I don't really use this one very often. It's cute. I think it's the first mini that I got because I got it way on sale. It's fine. It's kind of pretty. Uh, mini Xenon. I do prefer the larger Xenon, but if you just need a small monochrome palette, it's pretty good. This silver is really, really nice. It's really pretty. Uh, mini triochrome, which this I love. I don't like the big triochrome, but I love this. These are good blues. These are really good blues. This is a pretty palette. I enjoy this one. This is the mini gold. I don't think I've ever used this one. Um, I lent mine to my mom and she liked it. So I just gave it to her and then I bought this as a replacement and I haven't used it yet, but it's been like a year. So, well, not quite a year. Actually, I don't remember. Anyways, I really do like this palette. I should use it so that it's not not used. <laughs> I feel like sheepish about that. Okay. And this is the mini retro, I believe. Yeah. Um, I don't know, this one doesn't seem to be particularly flattering on me. Um, I don't dislike it, but I don't really use it. This looks really gray on, it doesn't have very much like of a green, which I thought it was green. It's not, it's gray, which maybe that was the intention. And I was just expecting green, I don't know. I should play around with that more. Ooh. And then I do have, I got these on Black Friday, on a Black Friday sale, so they were like 75% off each or something, which I never would have bought them at full price. These are so expensive. This is gorgeous. I love this palette. This is the green brown palette. It is stuck to the other one, so I'm just gonna hold them together. Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And the, I thought that the formula was really nice. I really like this one. It's a little big. I almost wonder if this is kind of more for like a makeup artist, you know? Uh, but I do have it in my collection and I don't regret that. It's so beautiful. Kind of the warm tone large palette. Kind of. There's some neutral stuff in there. Even some greens, so. Anyway, the green brown palette. And then the last palette today is the blue purple palette. Now, this this came different like this was attached to this i think this was an older palette i think my green brown palette was a newer one and my blue purple that i got i think it was old because i remember the formula not being as good i haven't used this in a long time because i was kind of put off by it i did get a very beautiful like cinderella type look with this and i liked that and i think the shades in here are absolutely gorgeous but like I said, I think this one, even when I got it, it was just a little old. Like, it just didn't work as well for me as the green brown palette, which was disappointing. Uh, I'm glad that I only paid, like, I don't remember. 
but it wasn't as much <laughs> as the full price because these are so expensive. Anyways, that is my Natasha Denona collection. Um, I hope that you're having a good week and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side alive.